Good morning, my fellow weebs. Today is Oshinoko Day. Probably the most exciting set for me personally since Spy Family. Uh, so, really excited. Uh, really sad I had to wait so long today to open it. Uh, I got it relatively early, but, you know, work. So, what we're going to start with is five trial decks. We only really need four, but I had one that didn't sell. So, we might as well do five. And then we're going in the case opening. So, as always, Cardpunk.Games, best source for sealed product. Uh, right now, we do have the Quince Premium set. Uh, that's up. Uh, also, a couple of days ago, we got the information for the Bunny Girl Knapsack. Uh, that set and the... what is it? Oh, Card Captor Sakura is the other one. The 25th anniversary. So both those sets are going to be the 24 box format. But she kind of lied, but she kind of didn't lie. So they said it's going to be the same price. They said the 24 box formats can be the same price. They didn't lie as in the MSRP is the same price. My price is different. Uh, my distribution price. It's lower. So I can sell them lower. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing they lied. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into these trial decks. Let's see if we can spike an SP. All right. Let's see. As always, fresh trial deck. We'll go through each of the cards. Take a look at the art. The other ones we're just going to rip through and hope to get an SP. Man, that eye is really nice looking, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure all the eyes from here, from this set, are pretty nice looking. But uh, that one's nice. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a triple rare per deck. Uh, based on the number of triple rares I saw. Uh, that may not be correct. That may be correct. We'll see what happens. Also, as far as the cases go, um, I don't know what our ratio is going to be. Uh, there's SPs, obviously, there's SSPs, uh, there's also OFRs, so that always changes the equation a little bit, so we'll see what the ratios end up being. Holy shit, that's great. That's a great shot of Aqua. I like that one. Alright. Uh, so as far as SPs and SSPs go, we're not looking for Aqua. Let's... Let's just be honest. We're not really looking for him. If he pops up, awesome. If he doesn't, okay. Uh, we're looking for I. We're looking for my girl Kana. Uh, Akane is fine. Uh, Ruby's fine. Uh, Memchan's fine too as well. I guess so. We're just basically not looking for Aqua is what I'm saying here. Uh, <laughs> any of the other girls are great. I would like to see Kana. Um... I would like to see an I as well, honestly. So there's our first SR. <sighs> okay, technically Kana. Not exactly the Kana I wanted, but it is technically Kana. And then the rest of our repeat cards. All right. Now, we get to try and go a little faster with the next starter decks. Then uh, probably pause real quick after that. And uh, get them off the desk. Uh, we already don't have much room for cases. So probably don't need to have the starter decks here as well. Uh, also, interesting little fact. Um, this display, at least, I'm sure it's most displays, uh, does not have the little piece they've been having of... Uh, I don't know if it's technically styrofoam or just some kind of foam. Whatever it is. Uh, so that was just interesting to see. Let's go ahead and search for... Okay. There we go. We got a technically Aqua and Ruby. I'm just going to say that to make it a little bit easier. All right. Uh, actually, we're going to put these with the decks themselves so I don't get them mixed up. All right. See what foil we get in here. Now we need the four decks for play sets, but we found. Some oh, 
Are you fucking kidding? Was that our third? Our third? Wow. Our third trial deck had the Ruby SP. There's an Aqua and a Ruby SP in these cases. Uh, obviously, Ruby is the one you want. Oh my god. Man, sometimes we just spike the best things in trial decks. I don't know why. I feel like most of the time we take the last few boxes of a case, we tend not to get anything. But for some reason, trial decks, I feel like I'm 30% of the time when I open my last trial decks, I get something. This really is convenient. It's a little odd, though. Obviously, it's on all of them. But uh, right around her hair, everything loses its texture. It no longer has a texture on it. It's just a flat surface of the card. I don't think that's going to come off on camera, but maybe. So I'll, I'll give her a nice little wiggle on camera. See if you guys can see what I mean. Uh, it's just interesting to see. Never noticed that on other cards. I'm not saying it doesn't exist on other cards, but uh, never noticed it. So, wow, we got the SP out of the trial decks. The good one, too. That's the weird part. Oof. All right. Well, these next two trial decks might not be that exciting, then. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we're going to get an SP here, but we'll see some new foils. So that part will be a little exciting. <laughs> kind of got most of it out of the way, though. All right. So let's see what we got for our foil here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, cool. Actually, this Aqua looks really good in foil. Uh, it looks really good in non-foil, but it, I mean, it really does look good in foil. Kind of glad we got this one, honestly. I doubt it's really worth anything, but uh, I'm kind of glad we got it. And then uh, I'm pretty sure this is the Aqua I remember seeing is the other SP in the trial decks. Ooh, Nelly. Well, we're happy about that one. We haven't even opened our case yet. That's not bad. Before we open the case, we get an SP. Uh, we take that. That's some... Uh, some nice little freebie over there. All right, there's our foil. Oh, fuck, that's adorable. Oh, fuck. That's a good foil. Okay. We probably got the two best foils, in my opinion. The Aqua and this one. They are both absolutely lovely. Okay. All right. Uh, I will... Be back in one moment, not that you'll really know that, but I'll be back in one moment. Just want to clean the trial decks up and we can get started on the case. All right, hopefully, you all miss me for the few seconds I was gone. Not that you really noticed the few seconds. Oof. I know I'm riding that high off that uh, Ruby though, it's uh, pretty nice. All right. Promo. First promo. Kana. Very adorable. As always, Kana tends to be adorable. Alright, we're just going to put that up there. Oh, man. Well, I'm okay saying we uh, officially got pretty damn lucky. So I am not overly upset. Alright, let's start the pack opening. Try to cool down a little bit and then we'll heat up a little bit later. Oops, throwing packaging everywhere. All right, as always, first few packs, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the art. Or first uh, box, actually, another Kana. That's a nice looking climax, though. All right, oof. Well, we probably have one to three SPs to go. Hopefully three, but uh, oop. Oh my god. This is just a double rare? Look at that sparkle. I don't know if you'll see it. Honestly, I don't know what the camera does and doesn't pick up. I'm not a professional. But that is a hell of a sparkle. I wonder if all the double rares are going to be like that. I thought it was an SR when I first saw it. God damn. Alright. 
All right. I'm not, actually, this rare has the same pattern. Did this one and I didn't notice it? Yeah. Wow, okay, so they're just all sparkly as fuck. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, I was excited for this set, and they haven't disappointed with the, <laughs> that's, that's cute, with the, uh, art and the foiling so far, so definitely happy about that. That's a pretty nice looking card for an uncommon. Damn, girl. All right. Wow. All right, we got a lot of boxes to go. I, uh, I already feel low energy now. I was not expecting, uh, to get this excited this quickly. All right. It's okay, we only have to push through 17 and a half more boxes. So, hopefully I have energy for that much. Looks like we got our first foil. Let's see what it is. Oh, uh, producer. Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't even know he was gonna have any cards. I will say the foiling behind him is really nice. It's like in circles, but like in a s specific pattern. It's really cool. All right, it's our first foil. All right. How many, how many SRs are there in here? Oh my God, there's 76 SRs. So uh, we might see a guaranteed two foils per box. Uh, maybe we'll see a third. Actually, that's a lot of them. It's a very nice double rare. Also, <laughs> very good double rare. I mean, I'm happy with all the double rares, but that one's, uh, ooh, look at that. That'd make a nice SR. Let's hope we get that. I need all the double rares anyways. We need uh, eight of each. I don't know why I had to just think so hard about that. Uh, I hope all this was in a good placement in the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. Oh, another double rare, a Kane this time. Very nice. All right, second half of the first box. I already got one foil. Let's see a second one. That's not a foil. It looked like a foil at first. Uh, these double rares are gonna be really hard to miss. I'm normally nervous about missing double rares, but I don't think I have to worry about it with this set. Those, those pop. Even these rares. I really don't know if you can tell on camera what they look like, but hopefully uh, some of you are getting some product, so uh, you'll be able to tell pretty soon, but they're beautiful. I don't even really know a good way to describe them. It's just they pop so much with that foil pattern. Oof. All right. We were really happy with the way uh, the Spy Family cards looked, but these these might be a little uh, a little ahead of the curve, honestly. I'm sure it's just foiling treatment just for the set, but ooh, that's a nice shot of Ruby. But I would not mind if all uh, double rares looked like that. Oh, we got another foil. It's a Memchan. This one's a little bit cuter than the producer. Oh, and we got a mount chin. I always love single wings. Not related to Sephiroth at all. I don't particularly care for Final Fantasy VII, 
I really regret saying that out loud. I think it's a fine game. I don't think it's suited for me. Uh, so I never particularly cared about that, but I've always loved single-winged characters. Uh, I used to... Oh, a Kana double rare. Nice. Uh, when I was really young... What was that movie called? Dogma. Dogma is what the movie was called. Uh, so there was a scene near the end. Uh, pretty good movie, by the way. Uh, I don't know if it's aged well, but it was pretty good at the time. The scene at the end where an angel has one wing ripped off. And the first time I saw it, I, I wasn't particularly old when I saw it. I don't even think I was a teenager at the time. I was like so positive. That would just make the coolest looking back tattoo. Just an angel's wing torn off on the left. And then like a black feathered wing on the right. I, I mean, I still admit that would be pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I'm getting any more tattoos anytime soon, though. I think, uh, I think we can call that retired. No way! Hold on. Hold the heck on. Pause. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, that business card she has right there is the pattern I used to use on business cards. I changed it to this. It was the same color scheme, but I changed it to this. So I actually used to use that pattern for my business cards. That's pretty interesting. I just got real excited thinking it was still the same. Uh, I was wrong and wasted time, but I was excited for a moment. All right, where's our promo, baby? There we go, Kane. All right. Get our packs out of here. I'm very interested to start getting the 24-pack uh, cases. I want to know what the if the ratios are going to change at all, either up or if they're just going to stay the same. I think that would be interesting. We'll obviously have to go through a few of them first, but we will be able to do that pretty quick. Double rare ruby. All right, so second box, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Uh, you know, I haven't seen the go first, go second cards for this set yet. So that'll be pretty interesting. I do have an affinity for go first, go second cards. I just randomly collect them for some reason. All right. Let's see what other spice we can get. We certainly have uh, had some spice today already. I would not complain with getting Kana or, you know what? Other than Aqua, we would love to get any SSP. I don't know. That That's almost like the, that's what it was, the uh, trial deck card. It was almost like this. It was uh, with her in the same outfit. Uh, not licking baking soda off the floor, but it was her in the same outfit. I just got really weird deja vu. Thinking we already had a duplicate SR. That's so rare to even get one in a case. So that would have been crazy. Alright. Uh, I always lose track of things and think I have duplicates of things. I don't think I've ever thought that this early. So it's not a good sign for the rest of the opening. But I know you suckers have to stay here. Because we both want to see these SPs. <laughs> so I know you're trapped. You are officially trapped here with me. Uh, if we end up getting a third SP, I think we can officially say it's uh, over and you can leave. But not until then. I don't even know if there's three SPs in these cases. But I'm going to hope there it is. Uh, based on the prices I saw for the SSPs, I don't think it's one per case. <laughs> so we're going to have to be real lucky to uh, get 
uh, no sus p at all. Uh, but we can hope. There's always hope. Always hope. Let's see, five more packs. If I'm right, we should get another SR. Ooh, that's a pretty nice looking double rare though. Man Chan. Her character is a lot of fun. <clears throat> Definitely a lot of fun. It's weird how old they treat her. I think this is a SSP. I'm pretty sure this is his SSP. It's weird how old they treat her, considering how much younger than me she is. It's uh, <laughs> a little sad. And uh, <laughs> about to be a little bit older, too, unfortunately. Uh, after about 25, birthdays uh, stop being fun. You know, when you're 25, you get a discount on car insurance. You can rent cars. After that, you're not really, uh, you're not really going up in the world. You're going sideways or diagonally down. It's one of the two. So, <laughs> unfortunately, we're only getting older pretty soon here. All right. Did we get two SRs in that? No way this is, uh, oh, we did. We got the Kana early. Okay. Forgot about the Kana. That's what it is. I was going to say there is no way... There are 76 SRs in the set, and they're going to do any number of boxes with only one foil. That would be crazy. All right, our promo. Another Kana. All right. Put that over there. All right. 16 more packs, baby. And then we'll be done with box number three. Nice. They really do jump out. I'm sorry. If you guys haven't seen them, find someone who has them. They just... I love that pattern on them. Uh, I think it's just perfect. I'm going to try to stop saying the phrase, it jumps out. I really am. I'm going to stop as best I can. No guarantees, but as best as I can, I'll stop. Alright, there's another double rare. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. I don't think we've seen this one for Akane yet. It's when they're uh, having their little date. She's posing for, I assume, Instagram? I don't know. Well, that's really cute. I like that. It's a good picture of her. Alright. Now, after this box, we definitely have to move the pile of bulk. We need our bulk, but we don't need it to pile up. Oh, wow. It's weird how fast I just got sad. <laughs> what the shit? Oh. Uh, well. What was it? Oh, about my piles. Yeah, we need the piles. We just... Don't need them large enough to uh, fall over. And this is this is definitely a series worth watching a couple of times. Uh, if High Dive doesn't get anything good this season, this upcoming season, I might rewatch it just so I can feel like the subscription to High Dive was used used for something. Our right, first foil, a uh, nice looking Kana. Just so we can feel like uh, the money we fork over to High Dive was worth something this season. And they might end up with something good. I don't know. They randomly keep getting good licenses. It's not enough to build seasons out of, though. They'll have, like, one to at most two good shows a season that I actively want to watch. Versus Crunchyroll, well, at this point, six to eight <laughs> at any given time during the season. The well, season's definitely a little higher, unfortunately. Very nice ruby. Right, what do we got? Five more packs. 
still looking for another foil. Still possible excitement here. Uh, it is not in this pack though. Ooh, it is in this pack. I have no words. I like it, but I have no words. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. It's fine. I actively like it, but... I don't want to talk about it. Alright. <laughs> well, that was a swing in emotions. That's for sure. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Alright, and our last pack of the box has, for some reason, well, it's because I saw the uh, foiling on the rare. For some reason, though, I thought this was uh, the foil. Alright, let's go ahead and move some piles over. That would be smart. Our uncommons. Let's just move our climaxes, even though it's the world's smallest pile. And our giant pile of commons. And then, let's get to the next three boxes. Alright. And our promo is... I very cool. Put it in the pile. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so, for Oshinoko, we're out of play sets, out of trial decks, because I just opened the uh, last extra one I had. Hmm. We have some boxes left for sure. We're going to have foils, obviously. Uh, and then I think that's it. Uh, the promos were already picked up by someone. Well, not physically picked up by someone, but, uh, purchased by someone. So, all we have left is boxes and foils. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, what do we have for boxes? I think we have, like, seven left. <sighs> Something in that neighborhood? So, if those don't end up selling, well, it can't be next week, and, well, at some point, I'll probably uh, do another video with the last ones, uh, because so far, this is a pretty enjoyable opening. So, if I end up stuck with a bunch of them, might as well open them and have some fun. And I might as well do a video of that. I'll tell you what, if it's a couple boxes, I'll do a video, if it's... Like all seven are left? Nah. Ooh, that's a nice Kane. Kana. Why'd I say Kane? I mixed her and a Kane up. That's weird. Alright, Kana. That's a nice Kana. Have I been saying Kane the entire time? There's no way, right? I have to have been saying Kana. Uh, now I'm really self conscious about it. Alright, two Kana SRs in a row. Yeah, for some, re for some reason I was trying to say Kana, but trying to say Akane at the same time. That was interesting. Akane. Well then. That is something that I would do. I, I really have to say, that is something I would do. Alright. Very nice double rare. We are on the second half of the box. We did get two foils, so not really expecting another one. Uh, off chance of an SR or an SP, I guess. Maybe they do two guaranteed foils plus the SP as a third. I feel like they've done that before. Don't don't ask me where, but I feel like they've done it before. All right. I think they just try pretty much every combination of things they can. Eventually they'll stick with one for, I don't know, a matter of a couple hours and then switch to another one. 
That just seems to be the pattern, which is fine. Keeps us on our toes, that's for sure. Wow, we didn't have foils left, but we had a bunch of double rares still. That's good. We need a bunch of, wow, even more, okay. We need a bunch of those though, so that's good. Hmm. So I'm looking at that rare. Uh, the one down there. Oh, uh, oh, oh fuck. Uh, so that reminds me. So I'm going to see uh, Otto this year. She's doing a world tour. Uh, she just announced her actual date. She originally announced the world tour. I, th I think it was in October. Towards the end of October. And didn't announce any dates or even locations. And then she finally announced them, so I know what one I'm going to. Am I enough of a weeb to bring a glow stick? Am I? I might be? I think I might. That would be kind of fun. I don't think, like, I'm going to practice routines. I'm just saying, like, bring a glow stick. A ruby? Uh, I don't know. I think for Otto, I would say blue. She's, uh, she's got a lot of blue in the things she does. So, if anything, I would bring blue. I don't know if that's crossing a line where it's a little too much weeb, though. But, uh, I kind of think that might be fun. Either way, I'm super excited to see her. She's definitely my favorite artist. So, the fact that she announced a world tour makes me very freaking happy. I, uh, I can't wait. It's a few months away, but I'm very excited for it anyways. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Ooh, oh, we got an OFR finally. I actually forgot OFR's win here for a minute. I can't see it very well. It looks like blonde hair like Ruby, but for some reason, the costume kind of reminds me of Akane. Like something she would wear at the theater. But I'm assuming it's just Ruby. Uh, of course can't read it, but I'm assuming it's Ruby. Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up. I'm curious if uh, we're going to get two or three OFRs. That tends to be the number. Huh. But yeah, I am so excited for Otto. I'm really glad she announced her date so I could pick which one I want to go to. She's actually doing a couple on the East Coast, which is nice. Uh, I kind of expected East Coast would only be New York, which I'm from New York, uh, so that would have been fine. Uh, I didn't want to take that many days off, but I could have gone up and seen my parents for a week or so. But uh, it's just convenient. She's on the East Coast. I was actually scared because I thought New York would be her only East Coast stop. And then I was saying maybe she doesn't even come to the East Coast. But I'm I'm just so glad. I'm so excited. I am so rarely like actively excited to go somewhere and do something. So this auto concert's gonna be a lot of fun. It really is. Uh, it's gonna be so enjoyable. Uh, definitely something I never really expected to be able to do. She did a national tour wait recently. Uh, so I've, I've seen video of that one, but, uh, it was definitely, she's definitely a good performer. Um, if you don't know anything about her though, she, uh, I don't know how she did this. Uh, I don't know the science behind it. I'm sure it's something remarkably easy. She is just, because she doesn't want anyone to know who she is, uh, that's just a thing. So... It almost looks like she's painted black on the stage when she's performing. So even though she doesn't want to show herself, she actually gets up on stage and performs. It's really nice. But now we get a world tour. Hopefully uh, that comes back around in another couple years. That would be nice. 
Uh, I don't mean to get this distracted by Otto, but I feel like Oshinoko, you know, kind of leads into kind of leans into her existence. I'd say. Oh, uh, another foil, Akane. So I don't know. That's just something I'm excited about. If you're excited about it too, let me know. Uh, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, I'll try and drop it. <laughs> I will. Uh, but yeah. So hopefully I get to rewatch Oshinoko soon. Uh, I just have a feeling High Dive isn't gonna get anything this season. I haven't really looked at everything that's even coming out this season, though. To be fair, so, and they've just been snatching, you know, one-off things here and there, like Oshinoko. Crunchyroll, what the fuck? How did you give up Oshinoko? That's just insanity. I mean, I would think there would be a bidding war for that one. But, I don't know, they got Eminence and Shadow. I weirdly love that, even though it's super cringe. Uh, H Dive's trying, though. They really are. You gotta give them full credit on that. They're actively trying to uh, be a big name. And you know, in a couple of years, they actually might be. You know, Netflix and Prime have pretty much given up anime. They do some here and there. Kana. They do do some here and there, but they've kind of given up trying to get a bunch of anime a season. Uh, I think I think they're over it. So, I mean, there's room where High Dive could come in if they want to throw some fucking money around. I'm not necessarily opposed to it, as long as they, you know, make their app not complete crap. As long as their app becomes decent, I'm perfectly willing to watch things on High Dive. It's just... It's just gotta be hard to come up in this world as a anime streaming service. I mean... Crunchyroll's kinda got it locked down. <laughs> they, they really do. They're like a household name. It's strange. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was an SP at first. Got some pictures of Akane. Cool. First foil of the box. Ooh, that pack did not want to open. <sighs> I think... I'm probably most excited for the new Quint set. I, I'm i going to love the new Bunny Girl set because it comes with a new movie I can watch as well. Uh, the new Quint set is based on the couple of episodes they put out, which I don't actually know where to watch. If anyone knows where to watch, let me know. Uh, I'd really like to know that. Uh, but they put out a couple episodes, kind of like a filler between where the last season ended and the movie started. Uh, they're just like little quick things. They're not like comprehensive of what was in the manga or anything. But I do want to watch that if I can ever find it streaming anywhere. But that's what that set's going to revolve around. I don't know. Bunny Girl coming out with the movie, though, is going to be nice. Uh, I don't know the timing on that, but... That'll be a little extra hype for the set, I think. So maybe I'll enjoy that a little bit more. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, I don't know. I mean... Spy Family's coming out in English, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be fun. I don't know if I sell play sets for it, so I don't know if I get to open it. I kinda hope so. I'd really like some your SPs. Especially the Trial Deck one. Uh, very unlikely to get, obviously, but that'd be nice. Oh, man. Hit a lot of, uh, a lot of blank packs. Not even hitting double rares, honestly. And prove me wrong. Oh, yeah, okay. There's a double rare. I don't know. As always, just complain. Some things will occasionally work out. Alright. 
I should have complained a little more. Tried for two in a row. I'm kind of surprised they didn't put this art in a rare, honestly. It just looks nice. Nada. Alright, we're down to four packs in this box. We should get another foil. Unless I just forgot the foils, who knows. Maybe that other Akane was a foil in here. I don't keep track of things very well. We did just get that SR though. Alright. Three pack of runes. Uh, I am so close to doing something bad. Three days ago, I paid up my WoW subscription. I I haven't played yet. <laughs> I paid up it, and thank God there was I had uninstalled Classic, so <laughs> I couldn't just hop right into it that moment. I've been really good about it. There's like four or five times I sat down on my computer, just stared. Oh, another OFR. Just uh, stared at the Blizzard launcher like, I could just do this right now. It's fine. I could play. All right. So I'm really close to doing that. I don't want to be, but I'm really close to doing that. And that's sad. So I might be bad and play uh, Season of Discovery. Ugh. I don't want to. And I want to, but I don't want to. Very nice. So OFR number two. So, the reason I don't want to is because of my history with WoW. I, I've been a very, I'm going to say tenacious player. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think that's the nicest way to say it. I've been a very tenacious player uh, since before Burning Crusade came out. Just a little before Burning Crusade came out. Uh, so I didn't, like, raid in vanilla. Uh, I max leveled in vanilla, but I didn't actually raid in vanilla, so I'm not, I'm not that old school. I'm not. Uh, I'd love to say I was, but I'm just not. So, but since then, uh, I have too much time in WoW. I really do. So I'd prefer not to go back. Uh, that would be that would be a blessing to not go back. But yeah, uh, like I was a little. Well, I don't know if getting to sixty in vanilla is casual, honestly. Ooh, we get to see the go first go cut go. <laughs> wow, words go first go second cards. I don't know if I play casually to get to sixty. I feel like I. Uh, I did go a little ham in the leveling and then kind of petered off. I'll put that over there. That's mine to keep. But as uh, soon as uh, Burning Crusade came out, oh god, I was not casual. My uh, first Illidan kill, I skipped work to do. <laughs> I just, I skipped work to do. I got the Black Bow of the Betrayer dropped. I was a hunter. So the Black Bow of the Betrayer dropped for me. I was very excited about that. And legitimately just skip, skipped work to do it. So I always, I always remember that. But I, I went to ham for too long. Uh, I think it was like somewhere between six and 700 days I played. Uh, and days are 24 hours. So 24 hours times six or 700 was the amount of hours I put into the game. So I really don't want to go back. <sighs> but I really want to. So I might end up doing something a little bad and playing that. I'll regret it. I know I will. I did sit down. I was about to uh, roll a paladin. And then I immediately remembered... Paladin buffs are five minute buffs. So you have to rebuff the entire raid every five minutes. I remembered that and that stopped me. 
So that was good. I definitely would have. I definitely would have played that one out. Uh, I think you get the full blessings by the end of uh, Vanilla, though. So you can buff a uh, full, full group of uh, specific classes. Pretty sure you do. And I think those. I think in vanilla they were like 15 minutes, so it wasn't as bad, but I can't do that. I'm too old to remember to buff people. I just want to hit buttons. That's it. You can't catch me doing uh, complicated things anymore. I'm far too old for that. Far too old. So we might end up on Season of Discovery in the next couple of days, but I hope not. Uh, so what's coming out, though? Uh, let's see. Next thing is Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear comes out next Friday. Uh, no place that's pre-ordered for it, so we will not be opening it. Uh, which is too bad. I've always loved the character design of Guilty Gear. Uh, I mean, the gameplay is pretty fun, too, honestly. But I was always more of a Tekken kid. Uh, I worked I worked in an arcade. Uh, before I worked at the arcade, I got free tokens from the same arcade. And my life was just kind of Tekken, DDR. Yes, if any of you seen me, I'm really fat. I still play DDR. I, I was actually good. I could play like eight, eight foot uh, songs on heavy. Which, I mean, isn't the best thing in the world, but... Uh, for my weight class, that's real good. Uh, so DDR and Tekken was pretty much my life. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, we got our first SP, the Memchan. Is one I said I'd rather not get, but as long as it's not Aqua. Honestly, we're pretty happy with it. Plus, we got the bonus of the Ruby SP in the trial decks. So uh, that makes up for Memchan. I do like her, though. Her personality is a lot of fun. I will say that for sure. So it's not like she's a bad character. Just financially we were looking for something else. Now it's going to be really sad if there's only one SP per, uh, per case. Uh, then we'll be a little upset we got her, honestly. But as long as that's not the situation, we should be good. So, we got the one. That's our first SP. We're hoping to get three total. We're really hoping one's an SSP. Uh, Non-Aqua SSPs... I mean, even the Aqua one looks good, I guess. Uh, Non-Aqua ones are... Uh, lots of money. <laughs> uh, the Kana and the I SSPs are like seven, $800. So we'd like one of those for fun. Oh, another Memchan. Okay. Well, a very Memchanable box so far. It's commons. All right. Two packs left in this box. We did get both foils. So I don't know when our next opening is because I don't. I kind of think I sold play sets for our Spy Family. I kind of think I did. Uh, so if someone bought play sets, we'll be opening that. That would be a nice opening. I would enjoy that. I think we're going to open Quince, because I know someone who wants a play set of Quince. Uh, it's a premium box, so I'm a little hesitant, honestly, to open it. But we'll probably open it, just because someone already said they'd be interested in a play set, and I like Quince, so, yeah, no. I want to open it anyways. So them saying they're going to get a place that just makes it uh, a lot easier for me to justify. We got an eye. I don't think we've seen an aqua promo. I'm not sure if there is one. I don't think we've seen one. All right. So we are one SP and two OFRs down in this case. Not bad, I'd say. Uh, let's see, what is this? Box number eight, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's box number eight. So 
So we still got uh, still got some room to go. Hopefully, uh, whatever else is in this case is pretty nice. Oh, another eye double rare. It feels like a while since we've gotten that one. else is on high dive really I know there's things I've watched they got made in the abyss didn't they did they get the second season of made in abyss I haven't watched the second season of made in abyss yet uh, I kind of wonder oh that's a nice SR I've been complimenting that art multiple times today uh, I kind of want to watch otaku elf not sure if it's actually good, but it looks kind of kind of up my alley. Uh, so I guess if you know about Otaku Elf, let me know if it's at least worth watching or not. I don't know. What else does High Dive really have that's an exclusive? It's definitely things I've watched on there. Uh, ooh, what was that show? I think it was on High Dive. It's... It's something like Black Company or something, where they're working at a black company and it's like a mining company. I don't know. I can't think of anything about it, really, other than that. And, like, they're in a dungeon. Something happens. And I kind of feel like there's a spider lady. <laughs> like, spider body kind of spider lady. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of what that was. It's something Black Company, I think. That, I think, was on High Dive. Such a weird one to remember, honestly. I know I've needed them in the past to watch things, though. But they're always one-offs. I don't know. I'm sure High Dive has had some good stuff, though. I wonder if they absorbed anything from Viz when Viz closed down. Viz was an interesting uh, anime streaming service. I uh, didn't love it, but didn't hate it, really. The app was definitely better than the High Dive app on the Amazon Fire. They actually had a PlayStation app, which was nice, unlike High Dive. I don't know. But I don't know... I'm pretty sure Crunchyroll absorbed most, if not all, of their content. Because uh, I think Viz was exclusive for, like, Mashoku. Oh, what's that show? Oh, what's that show in my head right now? I know they had Ikibukuru. What's that? Fuck. What was that called? It was, like, a bunch of really bad people. Right, and they were called some Akudama Drive. That's what it was. That show was really interesting, and I could never tell how much I liked it or disliked it. Oh my god, wow, that's $800. Okay. Uh huh. So, Akuma Drive was a show. <laughs> uh, oh, baby. That's an $800 card. Oh, fucking baby. All right, sorry, seven to 800. I don't know, it's fucking something. Let's, uh, let's agree that I made profit on this case. It's very rare, especially on a Japanese case. Uh, but let's go ahead and just admit we made profit. Uh, between play sets and this, we made profit. Everything else, huge fucking bonus. Oh my god, I am not speechless, but woohoo, baby, okay. Well, we, uh, I still don't think they're one in every case. There's no way they're that expensive and they're one in every case. There's just no way. I mean, the low-end one, other than Aqua, I think was like 250 or something. There's no way they're in every case. Okay, I'm gonna breathe for a second. Uh... That's exciting. 
She's my favorite character, which just makes it so much better. I don't even know if I showed you guys up close. So that's the Kana SSP. Oh, I mean, I kind of want the I SSP as well, but uh, definitely the Kana is where we're at here. Oh boy, okay, perfect. Let's uh, open another box. Well, these last few boxes have been pretty damn good, I must say. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Well, uh, oh, there is an Aqua promo. Okay. Uh, I honestly, I don't think I can think of any more Viz exclusives right now. My mind's uh, pretty much in Kana zone. All right, let's let's just focus on opening. See uh, see how that goes. Okay, very nice. Man, this this was a fun opening, even if you take out the uh, Kana SSP. I've enjoyed this opening a lot. The cards look great. I really like the new patterns. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Oh, come on with this bullshit. Stop showing me that card. Especially every time I see it, I'm happy right before it. Alright, whatever. Alright, well. Gotta get these uh these foils up tonight. Ugh, I hate having to wait until uh, after work to open Japanese sets because I get the Japanese sets later than the English sets. Uh, Japanese or er, English sets I normally have Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday. Japanese sets are hey, you might get it Thursday or Friday, and there's like a 20% chance you get it the next Monday. Because everything ships over from the West Coast. So waiting on the Japanese sets is hard because I have a lot more work to do as soon as it's finished. So the English sets, we can we can open those whenever. Those are fine. We open them, we don't touch them for two days, and we can still make play sets, honestly. Uh, very rarely am I ever going to do that, but we could, is what I mean. But uh, not Japanese. Japanese are a little more stressful to get together. A little more stressful. Wow, I can't believe we got the Trial Deck SP, the good one. And we got a good SSP. Oh boy. We are uh, on fire tonight. Uh, I'm sure our next SP is going to be Aqua. I'm fine with that. I said I didn't want any Aquas, but I think we can justify one Aqua in this case. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. I don't know, my adrenaline's still pumping. I don't know, that's probably not healthy. I don't think your adrenaline's supposed to go this long for just getting a card. All right. <clears throat> Three more packs in this box. This is box... I'm gonna say nine. It looks like there's three missing from that layer, so I'm gonna say nine. Akane. Oh, oh, nope, you don't go there, cards. You go in that pile. Whew. Yeah, I don't really know what to talk about at this point. I feel like I've exhausted a lot of topics today compared to normal. I think there's normally a lot more silence than there has been today so far. Alright, let's get these cards out the way. Ugh, commons. Uncommons. And then we got nine more boxes to go. Wow, actually that means we're only halfway done with the case. I did not realize that. 
And uh, we're gonna clear the pile of double rares too. Why not? All right. Let's get this open. Also, I kind of like the case design. If this co ever comes to English, I really hope they do a good play mat for it. I definitely think it deserves it. Kana. Is that our fourth Kana? That's pretty cool. Got all four of her real quick. I mean, I don't know how many PRs there are, actually. So I don't know if you're guaranteed four of each. Uh, if there's five or more PRs, you are not. So... I don't know if you're guaranteed four, or we just got lucky. Very nice rare. I'm also interested to see if we're done with OFRs. I'm going to be honest, I thought that was going to be an OFR because I said it. That is a very nice looking Kana though. We like that SR, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it's going to be two or three OFRs per case. I, mean, I kind of hope it's three, but if it's three, that means they're probably worth a little bit less. I don't know. It's kind of a balancing act. That that doesn't always apply for SPs. It's so weird. You would think that would be the same for SPs where if there's only one or two of them per case, they are worth more. It's not that consistent, unfortunately. Except for Quince SSPs. Those, those motherfuckers tend to be pretty goddamn high. They do. So... All the girls tend to be relatively high. I think Yotsuba, on average, is kind of the lowest. I'm doing my girl do dirty there, but uh, she's kind of the lowest normally. But those SSPs tend to be more valuable than the average SSP. And then, like, I don't know. Let's say Seven Deadly Sins only has two SPs per case. Those aren't that expensive comparatively. Uh, well, to other SPs of their time. Uh, <laughs> SPs these days, on average, are worth a lot less than the uh, SPs of the golden years. Uh, the economy does not help that either. A lot less buyers, which is interesting. In the end, less buyers for product means less product ordered. Less product opened. In the long term, that has implications. In the very long term, not in the, you know, early next year long term. It, very, very long term is what I mean. It does have implications. Certainly seen that in other card games. A set is very underopened. Oh. The good cards are going to be a lot higher than they should be. The sealed product is going to be a lot higher than it should be. Not that I would say invest in Weiss. <laughs> uh, I think those days are kind of over where Weiss is a sure bet. Uh, definitely some things will go up. But uh, it's not the sure bet it used to be. I do like sealed product. What do we got here? A Memchan. So, definitely not saying to invest in any of this shit. Just saying it does tend to have implications if things swing the right direction. Once the economy kind of turns around. I'm so hyped about that Kana, though. I know she's only the second most expensive, but she's definitely, definitely the girl I wanted, so... I'm really excited about that. I don't know why, but I just immediately got so scared that I hadn't been recording this entire time. Oh, man. It's kind of like how I keep having these dreams where... 
for some reason, I dream I didn't graduate college by, like, one class. I need to finish one class. And I'm always, like, and, like, half the time, actually, uh, that one class is one I just forgot I had. I had no idea I had that class, so I never showed up for it. And then the other half the time is, like, oh, I'm just one credit short. I need to go back to school. Those, uh... Those dreams seem to happen a lot to me. I don't know if that's normal for people, but I would say that's my most common dream. <laughs> it's that I have to go back to school. And some of the times I'm like, you know, I already have a career. I'm not going back to school. This is stupid. You know, those are the reasonable times. Like right now, if I needed one credit hour to graduate, I mean, well, I could do an online course, I guess, and just graduate. But if I had to go to a physical school... Oh, fucking way I'm going to classes at a physical college ever again. There's just no way. So it's like the logical decision occasionally gets made where I'm just like, I'm not doing it, it's fine. I don't care. You know? That's interesting, though. Uh, college in general. I don't know if it's helped me ever. I've never had a single job interview where they've asked anything at all about my college experience or even if I had a diploma they've never asked once and I think that's interesting I don't know if it's because they know I have a diploma which they probably do but they never ask questions about it never once I feel like I could legitimately just say I graduated from MIT and no one would fucking question me they'd just be like okay sure that's very weird so I don't know the exact value of having a college education, honestly. Oh, foil? Ruby? Actually, pretty pretty nice looking Ruby. Very nice. So, I don't know. If I, needed, if I didn't have a college diploma, I would not go back to college right now. I mean, I'm far too old to go back to college. I was old when I went to college. I took a few gap years, so... My first year of college, I was 21 years old, uh, a.k.a. very popular. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, no one really needed me to buy liquor for them, so I didn't get the benefit of being 21 in college, but I don't know. So I was already old enough when I started college. I'm not, I'm not looking to go to college again. If I didn't have a diploma, I didn't have a diploma. I don't care. You know, we're at the point where it just does not matter in my career. Uh, certifications are certainly worth more than diplomas in a lot of situations. And experience is worth just as much as certifications. So if you have experience and certifications, I don't, I don't think a diploma matters. There's like uptight things like banks that just have, like, rigid requirements, but, I mean, you don't want to work for them very often anyways. Well, not in IT. I'm sure there's places where you want to work that do actually require diplomas. But, I don't know, I kind of see it, like, when they require, like, five years of experience. Do you really... Do you really require five years of experience? And the answer is no most of the time. Most of the time, you go there with two years experience, they like you, they're like, okay, you're hired. You know? So that, most companies I feel like treat diplomas like that. Where they're like, yeah, we're gonna pretend you need one because we prefer it, but if we like you, we're just gonna hire you anyways. So, I don't know. There, there's certainly jobs that need diplomas. No freaking questions there. There are jobs that greatly benefit from having diplomas. Just my personal experience has not involved any of those positions. Even, like, I've done interviews a few times. Like, I've been the one interviewing people before. I don't think I've asked about their education either. It's just not something that really crosses my mind. 
like when I was interviewing people, there were like basic normal interview questions. And then there's, hey, I have this problem, solve it for me. Tell me how you would solve it. And if you ever get questions like that, well, maybe in a heavy development program, it might matter a lot more. Uh, but if you're not in a like very heavy development position, I think most of the time, we just want to see how you answer and how you use your process. Like, I wouldn't care if they get the questions right. That's not relevant to me. Oh, we got two foils back to back. Nice. I don't give a shit if you get the questions right. I'm going to be honest. I don't. If you know how to search and know how to troubleshoot yourself, that's when I care. That's what I'm looking for. You know, you're not looking for someone that knows everything off the, you know, tip of their tongue, though that would be nice. You're looking for someone who knows how to solve the problems that they encounter. Because eventually they're going to be hitting problems they just don't randomly know. And they have to troubleshoot. They have to figure things out. You know? I don't know. I just... I guess the, the moral of this long rant is... I don't care about college diplomas. You know? It may be like my most common dream where I don't have one and it's like super stressful because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to go back to get that, uh, get that credit I need. But I don't think it would really stress me out if I was like conscious and able to think. So I don't know why those dreams stretch or er, stress me out so much. But I'm also not sure if I'm the only one that has those constantly. I'm kind of curious how many people dream of just missing credits in college. I think it's a weird dream to have. I don't know why I keep having it. It's got to mean something. I just don't know what it means. Like, if you have a dream a couple times, you know, fine, whatever, maybe it doesn't mean something. But if you have it, like, twice a month, it's got to mean something over, like, four years. Uh, I don't know why I started that rant. I'm going to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I had a reason to talk about that dream. And uh, it just left me, like, ten minutes ago. I have no idea what it was. All right. A few more packs, and then we're on our last six boxes. Let's see what other foils are ahead for us. I'm pretty sure we got both foils in this box already. I think they were the ruby ones. So probably nothing in the last couple packs. Except for double rares. Obviously need a bunch of them. But we have 12 more foils left, probably. It's not guaranteed, but probably 12 more foils left. We might have another SP. We might have another OFR. I don't know. We will see. We will see. All right. Let's, let's see. Where is it there? Oof. I don't know. It's an interesting case so far, though. It's definitely been a very enjoyable opening experience. I'm very happy about that. I mean, our results were also very desirable, but I don't know. The entire opening has felt fun. It also feels like I haven't been able to open Weiss in a long time. It was Ari Ferretta in October or November? It's definitely in the last Weiss box we opened, I think. Mimchan! Exacto knife directly in the way of where I put the commons. Uh, 
That's going to be your boy. I mean, it's still a few months away, but I actually legitimately am thinking about bringing a <laughs> glow stick to the auto concert. I'm legitimately thinking about this. That would be kind of interesting. Ooh, another foil. Why is she serving in that outfit? I do not remember this being a scene. I mean, it's at the bar, so it's probably at the wrap-up party. I just don't remember her doing that. I remember her drinking and hanging out with everyone else, but I don't remember her serving drinks. And I definitely don't even remember her in that outfit, so that's very strange. It's probably just my memory being bad, but that's the only time I can think of her in a bar situation. All right. Let's knock the rest of these double rares out. And all the foils are just bonuses. Wait, is that common? No, that's not common. I think that's the second time this box that that card has been in the uh, flex slot. I've had to look at it. Oh, that one's, that one's definitely double rare. All right. Oof. Man, sometimes I just blink while going through these. Maybe I need some food. That probably would have been smart to eat before I did this. That way I have uh, more energy and can focus on things. I am not known for making the smart decisions, unfortunately. That would be a good thing to be known for, making correct decisions. Man, that really would be a good superpower, even. I mean, there's better superpowers, but that would be a good one. I don't know about you guys. Superpower? Time control. That's the best one. It has to have some caveats like friction doesn't exist while you're traveling through time like if you have it stopped the friction doesn't exist because otherwise as you're walking the second you unfreeze your shoes are just melted melted <laughs> from just the friction of moving so quickly There's got to be a lot of a lot of rules around it, but it has the highest potential as a superpower to bring about good things. It really does. I don't think anyone can convince me otherwise. That's just the best superpower. All right, yeah, five more boxes. This one included. And then we'll officially know the ratio of Oshinoko. And then I can put these foils online. And then they play sets. There's going to be food somewhere in there, though. There's definitely going to be food somewhere in there. I just don't know where yet. All right. Uncommon in the flex slot. Uncommon. Man, I am so hyped about this karma. That's such a good feeling to actually hit the card you desperately wanted out of the entire set, the one you wanted to see in person the most. I'm very happy about that. Certainly has happened before, but it's just such, such a good feeling. Like, Lycris. Hitting that Chisato was amazing, especially since it was one SP per case. That Chisato was amazing to hit. I loved it. I wanted it. I got it. It was great. Though, Lycris did not do well for me. Uh, 
I still have two trial deck cases. And for some reason, I can't sell them at like $300 a piece. <laughs> it's bad. So those, those are probably just going to get zeroed out at some point, unfortunately. And I'll just open them for the SPs again. I already did that to one of the cases, so technically three of them went unsold. I think I even have all 46 foils from the case I did that for left on the website. Lycris did not do well by me. I am... I am not interested in buying extra English boxes. <laughs> I am not. I don't even think I agreed to do play sets on it. I think I just... Ooh, another OFI. Ooh, very good one. Very nice. Uh, I don't think I did play sets on Lycris for English. I think I just... Just said no. <laughs> I was not about that lifestyle. All right, so we got another OFR. A very nice one, actually. Uh, it's Aqua, so I don't think financially it's probably going to be worth much, but it looks beautiful. You know how I love blue. I'm sure that's the only reason I think it's amazing, but I think it looks great. All right, we're going to put it with the other OFRs. We'll let Kana stay on top of the pile. She deserves it. Alright, so we should get one more foil. I think getting an OFR means you don't get an SP in the box, though. That's very likely. I mean, I'd, I'd be fine to be proven wrong. We're going to get the same number of SPs we're supposed to no matter what, since it's a case. But uh, I'm fine being wrong. It would be interesting. Make this a hell of a box, that's for sure. I'm, granted, there are boxes that are error boxes. That really happened a lot with Hollow Live, I feel like, where people got four SPs in a case. That was that was a bit bit on the tragic side for those people. Some people, the missing one was their SSP too. That's fucking <laughs> that's real bad. I saw a lot of posts about that though. So that that always scares me. Just just remembering the posts about Hollow Live. I've seen it with other sets too, where people have posted, "Oh, I only got two when they were supposed to get three. Nice SR. But Hollow Live just seemed really prevalent. Speaking of Hollow Live, I have plenty of <laughs> I have uh, plenty is a strong word. I have uh, Hollow Live cases left. Hollow Live Volume One and Hollow Live Premium. I do not have Hollow Live Volume 2. I'd be happy to have those, but I have the other ones instead. Uh, so quick shout out. Shout out, sell out, whatever you really want to call it. So speaking of Hollow Live, uh, some of the cases not having all of their SPs, you can try your luck with mine. That's a, that's a great product placement right there. That's a good one. All right, four boxes left. I hope one SP left. Uh, again, I'm perfectly fine. You know, if our only foil in the entire box was that Kana, I would be perfectly happy with this case. Another Aqua. I think Aqua's the really playable one, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I do remember correctly. But I think he was playable. Uh, for the PR. Uh, I don't remember about the SPs. But I normally look at the PRs and see if any of them sound good. And uh, I think I remember Aqua sounding really good. Alright. Getting close to the end. Three more boxes after this one. Pretty damn close to the end. So I'm thinking it's just going to be three OFRs. I don't think we're going to get a fourth. Uh, again, if we do, I'm fine with that. But I don't think we'll get a fourth for our OFRs. I mean, so one SP wouldn't make sense per case for me. Two kind of would, though. I could see 
this set being a 2SP per case set. I could. Granted, I really don't want that. I want to see another SP. But I could see it, you know? You feel me? That, that's uncommon. Please, can I pick up this pack? Oh, goodness. I just could not, for the life of me, pick up that pack. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Another double rare. Happy to stack those babies up. Got to get my 80 double rares total. That's what we need here. We normally get 81, which is nice. We gotta get at least the 80, the full the full double play set. Common. I always use the fresh trash bag when we do case openings. They really start to fill up right around now though. Right around this time, every time. I gotta wash them down a bunch. I did see on Amazon a trash can that actually does that for you. Uh, you just pull up a lever and it does it. kind of want that. <laughs> I literally just want it for uh, case openings. I don't need it for anything else. Just case openings. That would be, that would be helpful. Huh, it feels like a while since we got that aqua for the double rares. Oh, what the fuck? A fourth OFR? This was not expected. <laughs> this was not a parameter that I prepared for. What the fuck? Why four OFRs? That's such a weird number of OFRs. It's great. It's like the opposite of the Aqua one. So they're really cool together and everything. But what the fuck? I could guess probably 20 different combination of rarities for these cases, and I would not have at all guessed four OFRs in any of those combinations, probably. Well, 20 probably I would have, but you know what I mean. So that's, that's super unexpected. Okay. Well, hopefully that doesn't take the place of a third SP, though. Uh, three SPs and four OFRs sound fine, but, uh, four OFRs, two SPs, it's kind of also fine. Sorry, one second. I'm an idiot. Yep, that goes there. All right. We're pretty late in the game to, uh, be messing up piles. I'll say that. So we don't want to, we don't want to let that happen. That's common. Wow, my goodness. I was not... Just, has there ever been a set with four OFRs? I feel like the maximum I've seen was three. Granted, I've seen three a few times. It's not like just one time we saw three. I, I don't know. I can't remember a set with four OFRs, though. Huh. This could be an error box. Don't get me wrong, it could be. But assuming it's not, that's pretty interesting. Eh, that's going there. All right, three more boxes. Okay. I think my body's out of adrenaline now. I'm pretty sure it just zeroed itself out. Ruby. Ba -da -bum 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 -ba -dum -bum. Wow. That's pretty cool. This was the right case to pick. I had a lot of cases to pick from. I am really glad I picked the right one. Really am. Got to push through three more boxes. Uh, 
I really am hoping for a third SP though. It would not ruin my day not to get one, but it would be it would be nice to see another SP in person. You know? You know. First half of the box is finished with an SR and a Kane. That's uncommon. Double rare. How much I love my double rares. All right. Yeah, that's four. Common. I would have liked to see that in SR too. That would have been uh, a nice SR. Ooh, very cool, another SR. Uh, the, what was it? God damn, what's that name? Ari Ferretta. Ari Ferretta had some nice, uh, nice, uh, I don't know if I want to call them beach episode images or if we just want to call it what it is and call it fan service images but uh i had some good ones almost made me want to watch the second season actually i came pretty close to it but i didn't end up doing it oh that's double rare i thought that was a si for a minute Ooh, uh, okay it's a small pile but we almost lost it there's two more boxes. Yeah, there's two more boxes on there. Common. All right, two more boxes. Chances ugh, of there being a third SP are a little low. But it is 32 more tries. You know what? Let's call it four more tries since there's two foils in each box. Let's call it four more tries. All right. Memchan. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What good do we have here? Ba -da -bum. Nice double rare off the cuff. Is that a saying? I know off the cuff is a saying, but is that a saying that applies there? Off the rip, I think, is probably what I was thinking of. Yeah, off the rip is what I was thinking of. Ooh, back to back. Our record is still four back to back double rares. And that will remain our record for today. I don't even remember what set that was, honestly. I remember vividly doing it though. I was so excited thinking we'd get a fifth, and we never did. It was just four in a row. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, an uncommon. <laughs> I sounded so disappointed. I didn't actually feel disappointed. Feels like it's been a rather long opening. If so, sorry about that. I don't mean to have long openings, they just happen a lot. I miss when I could do a case in like 45 minutes. 
Well, okay, not on camera. I can do a case in 45 minutes really easy, actually, but on camera. I haven't been able to do that in a long time. I can't really blame my age on that one. I don't think that one really applies. I like to blame my age, age for a lot of things. I don't think we can blame it on that for this. I'm just getting slower. You know what? I blame the flex slot. Easy. Easy. It's the flex slot's fault. It really probably is. But that's probably why. Because I have to check the fifth. Okay. Alright, we got an Aqua for our third SP. I think we're going to still consider that a pretty big win to have uh, just gotten that Kana. Again, literally, if the case was just the Kana, I would be happy. So this Aqua ain't bad. Actually, has a kind of a nice signature, especially on the A and the Q. Put that in that pile. Uh, I guess we'll see if we end up with a fifth OFR, or if it's four OFRs per case. I mean, technically we got four SPs if we want to count the trial deck. So, that's good. <laughs> that seems like it would be above average. Got Ruby. few more packs here. Oh, and our second foil is a ruby. I don't remember exactly how I said that first time, but I don't think I said those the same way. I tried. Alright. Okay. box baby let's warm up those hands make sure they're hot not that i think we are due for anything but <laughs> wanna wanna try to have some hot hands here see if we can get a fifth ofr i'm gonna go ahead and say we're probably not getting another sp i i don't think we're getting another one of those but I also don't think we're going to get another OFR, but we're going to try, you know. Sometimes you hit the lottery, right? Oh, that's not one. <laughs> it's a nice SR, though. Sometimes you hit the lottery, sometimes you don't. That's all there is to it. I would say we hit... A pretty big jackpot today. I will. I didn't mean that to to say that we didn't hit well today. I meant that to say sometimes you get an error box. It's really unlikely, but sometimes you get an error case and you get an extra extra SP. That that's what I meant as the lottery. Not so much as we haven't done well and we're hoping to hit something good. I think we're well past that. We're well past done well. We've done amazing. For sure. So, let's see. I'm excited to see what our last foil is. And then we can go over all the foils together. I really do want to crack the rest of those boxes, honestly. I'm not saying don't buy them from me. I'm just saying if you don't, I'm not upset at you guys. They'd be fun to open for sure. Obviously, I don't want to open them right now. I kind of do want to open them right now. <laughs> honestly, it would still be fun. You 
you can have too much of a good thing, but I think we're still within the parameters where I would consider it a good thing to open the rest of them. Though, knowing my luck, we wouldn't get anything. I don't know, I think there's seven, so it's pretty likely there's at least one hit in there. Actually, pretty likely there's two if you're counting OFRs. But, uh, no, we're gonna wait. We are gonna wait and see if they sell or not, but... If they don't, within two weeks, we're definitely having another video. For sure. Man, I do what This is one of those sets. It's very rare that I actively wish I ordered extra. Like, more extras than I did. This is one of those sets where I feel like having a few extra cases of this would not be a bad thing. I actually really like that foil. I'm going to go on record and say that Akane looks like a really good image right there. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm happy that was our last foil, actually. I honestly like it. I liked a lot of these foils, don't get me wrong, but I do like that one. Woo! We done! Alright. Yep, jiggle the case, sounds empty. So we... Yeah, that's the right pile. All right. So, our next step is going through the foils. So, let's bring you on down. All right. Let's just go through the foils real quick. We do have uh, quite a lot of them. My thumb's going to cover up a lot of them. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to change that, but I'm sorry. Maybe if I put them now. God. Yeah, my thumb is just going to cover these up no matter what. It won't cover up the SPs. We'll, we'll let you see all of the SPs. Every single one of them. Alright. Alright, let's put the SPs aside. And take a look at the OFRs. We got the lovely Ruby. The really great looking uh, Aqua. I like it. Uh, well, Ruby and Aqua. And I legitimately don't know. It it really looks like Akane in a theater, though. I mean, the hair's not blue, but it really just looks like her. So I'm going to say this is probably Akane. All right. And now we have the SPs. First, our Ruby trial deck SP. Pretty proud of spiking that one. That was in our third trial deck. Our Aqua SP. Our Memchan SP. And, da 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 da, our Kana SSP. The hit we actually wanted in this set. <laughs> fantastic. All right, so we did fantastic. Uh, it's one of those rare cases we made money on. We do not do that very often, but we made money today, so I'm happy with that fact. Uh, it was really enjoyable to open, too. The art was good. It made me want to rewatch the show uh, a lot more than I expected it to, actually. So it was a really good opening. Um, I think our next opening is Spy Family next month. I'm not 100% positive, but I think it is. So I will see you back then. Uh... As always, Cardpunk.Games, best source for sealed product. I think by the time you see this video, I'll have everything up. We'll be doing the group of SRs. I'll probably put the triple rares from the trial decks in there as well. And then we're going to have some nice singles for sale as well. Uh, I'll post those up on... Yeah, tonight for sure. They'll be up. I'll probably put them up on Instagram and Facebook... Uh, if you're interested in them, uh, feel free. Uh, I always do the SRs, I don't know, a couple bucks each for the pile. You know, sometimes there's $20 SRs in there and sometimes they're all like $2. But I just, I normally throw them up at like two two fifty dollars a pop. Uh, especially since there were so many SRs in the set, we're gonna, we're probably gonna just flat two, not two fifty. dollars um, But... We will have uh, some nice Oshinoko stuff up. Again, as far as sealed product goes, 
we just have boxes. We don't have cases. We don't have trial decks. Just boxes. And uh, play sets are also sold out. So won't be having any of those on the website. But I hope you guys enjoyed the opening as much as I did. This was actually a really fun one. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I think this is the set I was looking most forward to. Uh, and probably the set I enjoyed... I. I'd say I enjoy it more than Spy Family, actually, to open this set. I do. I don't know if that's biased because I got really good pulls. But both Spy Family and Oshinoko, I had I had a lot of fun opening. So I hope you guys had fun watching it. That's for sure. Uh, again, Cardpunk.games, best source for sealed product. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Peace.